Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today our task is how to make a contour map from point data uh, which have latitude, longitude and elevation. For such a purpose I am going to open arc map 10.8 version any version you can use for contour map however I have installed 10.8 version which is the latest version of RGIS the document is loading uh, you can see here that the document has been open now I will click blank map and here you can see that I will click the option OK uh, I need the data uh, which should be added here so for such a purpose I am going to add the data from add data option so here you can see that the window has been opened now I will go to connect to the folder so my data is being lying here in this PC D suit and fourth and geoinformatics lab I will click OK the folder is being connected to the uh, arc map now I will click township at about because it's uh, the data that I have uh, acquired in the field using GPS I will click it now you can see that the data has been opened and displayed here on the screen uh, the data which you will acquire uh, during your field it will be in the form of CSV or in TXT format uh, you will change it into the uh, shape file that I have already changed now this data that you are seeing is in, uh, sh in the shape file format now I want to remove some of the outliers from this data like these uh, points uh, here I will click on editor and start editing after starting the editor I will select these points that are not required to me and you can see here that the points have been selected and I will delete all these points these are the outliers that uh, I don't I don't need for my uh, field area. Now the remaining points that you can see here, uh, I will use all these uh, points for contour map production. So uh, I will click here on the search. Uh, here you can see that the search uh, is opened. Uh, for uh, contour I will click here uh, two methods or um, different methods have been added to the arc map however I will select only Kriging uh, method so you should write here Kriging as I have wrote Kriging here now we will click the special analyst tool here are more tools moving windows creating creating 3d analyst empirical bias in creating density sampling Gaussian geostatistical however I will click the required one which is creating special analyst tool you can see here that I have uh, clicked creating option now the tool has been opened uh, input point features uh, the point features here are the township Aptabad shape file. I have dragged all the township Aptabad points here in the input feature. Uh, now here you can see that Z value field is latitude. So we require here an elevation for a Z value. So I will click here elevation because we are going to uh, yeah, to make a uh, elev uh, elevation or contour map uh, I keep these options as it is a Kriging method ordinary 
uh, simulated gram model spherical variable uh, search release variable or fixed uh, number of points here optional keep it 12 and go to click ok now here you can see that the uh, uh, process have been uh, has been completed here are some classes now I want to change the color of all these classes to some specific color uh, I will click here on the graphic view and click the elevation so I need elevation therefore I will click elevation and you can change here the number of classes I want to keep it on the 7 or 6 uh, the color that is white here I also want to change it to another color that is like uh, I will click here red so apply ok here you can see that the interpolation uh, through, through interpolation method we have uh, mapped all these points now I want to make a, a contour land a contour map from this uh, data so I will here write on the contour here you can see that uh, a lot of tools have been opened I will click on the contour special analyst tool in the input raster I will click this one that is screen shape 4 and this is the output if you want to change its name you can change however I will keep it the same uh, but uh, I will remain, uh, delete the creaking tree and I will keep it as a contour uh, contour interval it depends upon you how much interval you want to give uh, I will give only 5 intervals uh, best contour optional Z factor optional uh, uh, contour type optional here you can change it contour polygon shell or shell up I have only choose contour and I will click ok here you can see the contour lines have been drawn now you can uh, hide all the data and only you can see here that the contour lines have been drawn uh, let's zoom to the contour lines these are the lines which show you the elevation of the field label features so from the label features uh, you can see that the uh, elevation uh, that the field ID has been added to the label I want to change it to the um, elevation so here you can see that uh, labels I will change it to contour to shape to contour and I will click here on apply so here you can see uh, the elevation of every point of every line this is the lowest place here you can see that uh, it is uh, 4360 uh, while this position is on the top here uh, 400 4580 so this is the lowest point and this one is the highest point or elevation now I want to classify uh, this contour map in certain classes for such a purpose uh, I will uh, click here on the contour and I will click properties of the layer uh, here you can see the symbology I want to change its symbology uh, here you can see that graduated colors graduated symbols proportion symbols I want to change it to the uh, graduate colors that is contour and I want to change it to the uh, five classes here you can see that five classes have been defined here uh, the lowest value is 4360 and its ranges towards 400 uh, 4400 
50, 15. Uh, and the peak value of uh, this contour map is 4580. So it will give me five classes according to these ranges. Now I will click apply and okay here you can see the different colors have been assigned to the map. Now I want to change its layout and to add some of the uh, legends uh, that is uh, required for this map and also uh, a title. So I will click a title here. I, I, I can name it as a, a contour map of Abbottabad. It's not total Abbottabad, but it's a little bit area of Abbottabad. I will click OK. Now here you can see control map of Abbottabad. Uh, now I want to add uh, uh, the legends. That is. Uh, this layer we need only contour so I will click only contour and I will click here next uh, here you uh, it give you a color of font that is uh, depend upon you I will click the black color and will click here next the borders background drop shadow etc for the legend I will keep it as same now I click next and finish here you can see that the classes have been signed here in the legend you can change its position and you can also change here the name contour to elevation and feet so this is elevation and feet and uh, here you can see the contour or you can also uh, remove its name like this one so legend is elevation of all the area and uh, you can also add a not arrow from the insert option click here this is the not arrow where you want to edit i want to edit here